everyone. Welcome to my channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Um, if you have been here before then you're probably familiar with the few songs that I've kind of done covers for and posted in the past. Uh, thanks for checking back in and for subscribing when you did. I kind of just wanted to do a quick intro to my channel and kind of what's going to be going on going forward. I've essentially gone through a lot of changes in my life and a lot of things have seemed to kind of get lost, lost and fuzzy for me. So I kind of wanted to go into the new direction of what my channel will maybe ultimately go into and that's basically uh, probably not so many covers, maybe not so much music related, more um, my life or maybe lifestyle I guess if you wanted to tag a certain genre for my videos going forward. Um, I've gone through a lot of changes in the last couple of years which was the last time that I uploaded a video and so I kind of wanted to document a lot of the changes that are going on in my life and the reason for that just being that I feel like a lot has changed in my life and I feel scattered and so this is kind of my way to to document or regrouping for myself a way to re-identify me and who I am a way for me to reinvent and rebuild who I am um, not just to who I was before but to somebody with a lot more growth with a lot more strength uh, somebody who's a lot more self-confident and somebody who's really growing uh, as a person uh, so with that said I guess um, I can kind of go into a little bit of an intro of who I am. Okay, so about me. Uh, my name is Cita Vina. I'm uh, Mexican. I'm born and raised in Emporia, Kansas. I moved to Denver, Colorado when I graduated high school. Um, so when I was 18, um, I actually <laughs> hopped a plane and moved out here to be with my boyfriend, um, who's now my husband. I have a four-month-old son. His name is Diego. Uh, currently, I'm employed by a money transfer service that's based out of Inglewood, Colorado. My parents are from Michoacan, Mexico. I have a fur baby. His name is Choncho. I enjoy music. I enjoy playing soccer. I love to read. I love to binge out on Netflix and watching series of shows with my husband. And I uh, enjoy doing covers every now and then when I have the time. Um, lately my life has been completely taken over by uh, my son. <laughs> learning how to raise him, learning how to teach him, and him teaching me of course. Uh, I love every second of it. I can't imagine what my life would be without him now that I have him. It's like he's filled this void in my heart that I didn't even know I had. I do photography. I enjoy watching movies and as far as the social life, it's essentially non-existent at this point. Uh, like I mentioned the last couple years, my life has gone through a lot of changes. It's done a lot of, uh, I guess you could say, eye-opening. It's been very eye-opening. I've lost a lot of friends. I guess you can't really lose what you really didn't have. So I guess that's another way of looking at it. I, like I mentioned, don't have much of a social life and I've tried to preserve what little I do have and that's fine. Uh, you know, we, when you grow up you realize you become an adult and things just don't necessarily always work the way you'd like them to and you can't see your friends once a week or once every other day or whatever you were used to when you were younger. Or when you didn't have a commitment to a home or to a husband or to a child, even, let alone an infant. But I'm grateful for the friends that I do have. I'm grateful for those that have stuck around, for the ones that occasionally still check in. If you guys happen to be watching, you guys rock my world, and I love you for it. I don't have a whole lot of hobbies lately. I taken to trying new things and that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, learning the art of makeup. Not that you can tell now. I guess that's one of the things is I'm very laid back. 
I like to be casual, but I also love to dress up and I love to do myself up too. Um, one of the things that I definitely want to work on for myself is that, is, is working more on myself. And that's definitely one of the things I really want to document is my growth and my change, not just for me, but for my son and for my husband and just in general in my life. I'd love to have this to go back to and, and really kind of help me remember where I came from, you know, where I started and also remind myself where I'm going and what I'm working towards. And so I guess maybe that's the next thing is, is what am I working towards right now? Because I feel like I've lost so much of myself in the last few years uh, because everything has been so, it's been on, on cruise control where it, and it's a constant replay of that same, I guess that, that same routine. It's, it's such a, a redundant routine. I kind of want to break myself away from that. And, and not just for myself, but for my son and for my husband. And again, I want to document that. I want to document those changes. I want to show in one way or another that that's not what I'm sticking to anymore and that there are things that I'm doing different to help improve not just myself, but helping improve my life and myself for my son and for my husband. Thank you guys for checking in. I would love to hear from you. So subscribe, leave your comments, say hello. Um, also leave my tags below for Instagram and Twitter because I am on Instagram and Twitter, so I'd love to have you guys follow there as well. Um, I already have a few things posted there. Um, so definitely follow up. I'd love to see you guys following there too. So with that said, uh, thank you and I'll see you guys soon.